TMC, which is short for the Monitoring Center, is an alarm uh, an alarm monitoring company. Like, for example, um, they monitor, they sell and they monitor burglar alarms. So in other words, if you have to get an alarm to protect your home, your house or apartment or business, TMC is one of the companies out there that um, has burglar alarms on the market. Yeah, right now my opinion of TMC is that they suck. I'm not very happy with them right now. So basically, I've had an alarm with TMC for a while now. I was gone out yesterday. I had my TMC alarm set. And everything was normal. Like, I usually set my alarm using my keypad. I have two options for setting it. Either my keypad, which is on which I keep on my front table of my apartment, uh, or I can do it through my phone. I always do it through the keypad. I haven't done it through the phone in ages. So I went out yesterday and then I came back home last night. I went to disengage my T disarm my TMC system as, as per usual. The first thing I do as soon as I walk through the door and the screen was doing something. The keypad was doing something that it had never done before. Like it was just showing the time and showing the alarm state. And as soon as I punch, it was, it's a touch screen keypad. As soon as I touched on it, the screen just went black and it stayed black. It kept doing that. I could not disengage the stupid alarm. So the, um, I tried disengaging it through my, the thing is the phone that I was using yesterday is a brand new phone. I've had it for less than two weeks and I had not downloaded the TMC app to it as yet. Because as I was saying, I always like of late, I always engaged in, engage and disengage the TMC uh, alarm through the keypad. So this stupid alarm went off. It's extremely loud. Like it's something like 106 or 108 decibels. And I live in an apartment. And I was scrambling, going through my other phones, trying to disengage it. And the problem is... Um, the two other phones, the one other phone that I had on, I did have the TMC app downloaded. The problem is since I haven't used it in a long time, the app was out of date. It gave me an option of whether or not I want to update it. So I said, no, you can update it later. Try disengage. So try disengaging that, uh, my alarm through that, but it wouldn't let me until I at least updated the app. So I had to sit there waiting to update the app and it seemed to take forever. So finally I updated the app and I disengaged the alarm. I'm estimating that this alarm was maybe going for, I don't know, about three minutes or so. Loud as hell. And of course, numerous people around my building would have heard that alarm going off since it's uh, like about 106, 108 decibels. Let's call it about 107 decibels. So I call these stupid idiots at TMC. They said they're going to put me through to the service department because that's that's one of their departments there uh, for dealing with situations like that. They kept me holding for, I don't know, about 10 minutes. And then they said, oh, the serv they came back. 
oh, the service department's closed. I don't know why they tried putting you through there. The service department's only open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on weekdays, I think. So now I have to wait to hear back from the service department or contact them myself. It's just previous times, not just this time, but when I told them about the situation, they had no clue what I was talking about. They don't know why it happened. Previous times, I I had some problems with uh, TMC. I had a problem with the keypad. Again, the stupid keypad was acting up, not doing what it was supposed to do. And this idiot at TMC was telling me to open up the hub of the alarm system. Tried opening the alarm hub and saying something about removing the backup battery. And this backup battery was extremely difficult to remove, so I ended up breaking it. Well, lo and behold, they said, oh, yeah, he shouldn't have... The rep shouldn't have instructed you to do that because, you know, it's just user-friendly parts in there, blah, 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 that they shouldn't have done that, that he handled that the wrong way. So they had to come out and repair. They gave me a new keypad, and they repaired the hub. And, I mean, yeah, they did it at no cost to me, but it's a situation that shouldn't have occurred in the first place. And on average, whenever I've called TMC, it takes, seems to take them about two weeks to come on out. So I'm guessing that this time around, I'm probably going to be waiting probably about two weeks for them to come out and check out the keypad and pro- possibly replace it again. And like last time, I expect them to do it at no cost to me because why should I pay for something that's not my fault? So... Yeah, for those reasons I've listed, TMC, the monitoring center, sucks, and I would not recommend them.